Good day everyone. I uh, thought I might do a bit of a video on my water storage. Finally set it up a couple of weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer. Been a bit slack doing a video lately. Yeah, part of off-grid living uh, of course is uh, not just solar power and sort of about water as well and everything else. Uh, picked up a second hand tank. Uh, it's a thousand litres. That's pretty much all I know about it. Uh, got myself some fittings and everything. Go to that in a second. Got myself some roof sheets. Uh, they're sort of screwed down. Not great, but the uh, wind hasn't blown them away yet. Happy with that. I'm going to add some more very shortly. Uh, with this system, this system, this amount of roof sheets, 50 mil gives me about 500 litres. It's not very many, it's just a couple slapped together with a couple of screws really, it's nothing. But everything, roof sheets and this little rail thing here, I got that all for nothing so it doesn't faze me too much. That only cost me absolutely bugger all so I'm not really phased with that either. It's more the fittings and everything else that cost money. Uh, so I've got a bigger style garden hose running, so I need a, a little bit of flow coming through it I guess. Just, just standard fitting straight to it. Filter obviously. Now that runs in. I'll just pause this for a sec. Alright, so that runs in underneath my annex here. Which goes to a couple of different other fittings. Which you won't be able to see. Runs to a little constant pressure water pump. Uh, it says on it it's 600 litres per hour or minute. I think it's an hour. Little Bunnings job. Uh, it also says 17 litres. Ah, uh, 17 litres. 17 psi that it runs at. I'm not sure. I haven't got any gauges or anything to test that. But all I know is it works really well, and I'm happy. With, have, very happy with it. Uh, I've got it running up to basically a four-in-one splitter, which is adjustable. So I can choose where I want the water to go. Uh, my first one. It's only just a really short piece, which I can fill up my little uh, washing machine here and any other containers I need to fill up. Second one goes to the tap inside my van. Now I've run this because I'm, I haven't got the system turned on permanently. Uh, I've got a couple of switches running on it. So I turn it on when I need it. I've got one rigged up right here. So when I need to use the first hose, I just flick this switch straight on. Which is my uh, wrong one. Water. Uh, second one, the switch is inside. So when I need to use water in the sink, I just turn that switch on inside and use what I need to and when I need to stop using I'll just turn the switch off. Just a little 12 volt unit. Runs from my little 12 volt converter. Uh, drags about 3.3 amps at 12 volt this little pump. Which is a uh, pretty good power wise so I'm happy with that. Yeah. Everything that cost me Bugger all, most of it's Bunnings fitting, so they're all pretty cheap at Bunnings, as we all know. Yeah, so that's really about it. Alright, I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching.